Hello and welcome to my fourth computer science lesson or tutorial, if you want, wh whichever you want to call it. And what we're going to do is the opposite of the last tutorial: subtracting the damn binary numbers, binary the byte, of course, because eight uh, eight bits is one byte. So what do we do? Well, before we start subtracting, I need to introduce you two's complement. Now, two's complement, okay? It's called two's, and then, okay, that's called two C's. Two C. Now, two's complement is basically like a methodology used by computers to represent and process negative integers. So, it just processes, um, for example, negative 60, it makes it a two co two's complement, and yeah, and then it represents a negative integer. And it's basically, it's like the first step of doing subtraction, and it's way easier to, to, to first do this, then subtract, and I'll, you'll notice that later. So, we have this binary number here, this zero zero one 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 zero one one, and let's first convert it into uh, what's that called? Denary before we start doing anything. So thirty two one thirty two, and then one sixteen, and then eight. And if you're wondering why we're doing this, it so many times is because you need practice man you always need practice now we get our calculator out and 32 plus 16 plus 8 plus 2 plus 1 is 59 so our number is basically um let's put it up here 59 and let's circle this in red just to make it stand out beautiful now the steps of changing this um, 59 into a two's complement is as follows write out the number in binary which we already done and invert the digits which are this and we're gonna do that later and add one to the result to the binary result so what do we do invert we first invert the numbers. So we first write it out, which we already done. And let's invert it. So how do we invert it? You bring one here, okay, one, and then one there, zero, and then one here, one here, one there, and zero zero basically what it is is inverting the numbers okay it inverts it now what do we do we basically add a one here so let's delete that and let's fill it with black and then change it to a one now we added a one and that is our final step and now basically we have a two's complement of 59 and now it's in a like two's complement notation. So now we're gonna do the actual binary subtraction. All right. So let's delete all of this. Yes, I am using Paint. All right. I am using MS Paint to do these videos. It's quite embarrassing. So let's say okay. Let's think. Let's do a subtract 9 from 49. So basically, let's write it out. Okay, I already have this all planned in a sheet of paper, so I'm not going to really um, show you me converting it because that's going to take a long time. And 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. Now let's label that as. 49 okay now let's change the color so now 9 we do 0 0 you probably can do this in your head for 9 0 
zero and then a one and then a zero zero and a one and we can write nine so we know 49 minus 9 is 40 so basically we will expect 40 as our final answer so now we invert the second number which is 9 and then yeah add 1 to the second number so basically it's that we first convert it and let's do the second step of the 2's complement so let's delete this and then fill it here and then invert it now where's my brush yes it's here all right inverting it will make it okay you can invert it yourself and leave it there but i have this all planned on a sheet of paper so one zero one one zero all right now we inverted it now what's the final step it is of course adding it together all right now i mean subtract um adding one to the end of it which is this all right this is getting really pissing me off i should get like a new paint tool add one to the end now we then add one to the second number all right so we wanted to subtract nine from 49 and then we've converted the nine into a two's complement so now to perform the subtraction we actually add together the two numbers now you might now realize what has happened remember how I said two's complement is a negative number alright now if we plus a negative number two okay five plus negative one that is four so this is mathematically quite smart and uh, I think the people who invented this were is re are really smart and yeah now well, let's add them together so in order for the, us to do this we add it which I've taught you guys before so one plus one all right I'll I'll add a straight line here to make everything look pretty now whoa what happened there whoa 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 okay let's make this really pretty so one plus one is let's leave a zero here and carry the one one plus one is zero and then carry the one one plus one is zero and then carry the one zero plus zero one one zero and then one okay three is what's three again one one so you put a one here and a one there and then a zero and a one and then one zero we realize we need to add a t another place called two hundred and okay we need to change this to white two hundred and fifty six now we have to add one there and basically we can start now get our brush alright and then okay we put a one there this zero and a one and a one there now what we have done right now is okay the final answer is zero one zero zero one zero one zero 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 now this uh addition uh, results in like an overflow that the result has an extra bit on the left hand side we started with so 128 64 32 16 8 4 2 1 but now we added an extra one like i said just then and in order to fit the result of this um addition into like 128 onwards behind we need to minus basically we have to minus and take away the one from 56 and so I'm mean 256 we have to minus this away now minusing away becomes that now you might find this really weird but now 
if we convert this into decimal form in our base 10 system now what color should I use? Let's use brown. Now if we convert this back, okay let's try it. 32 alright plus 8 alright 32 plus 8 now we can do that in our heads which is 40 and well done everyone what is 49 minus 9 oh my god it god damn works now we finally and we successfully subtracted two binary numbers from each other and I'm gonna go through it once again first we convert the second number into a two's complement and like I explained it's basically a two complement is a way to display a negative integer and this is quite smart like I said for example five plus negative four now five plus negative four is equal to one so basically that is basically subtracting now after changing the second number into a two's complement what do we do after that we actually add the two numbers like I said just then and then when we add it remember how we got a, a overflow of the bits we have an extra bit on the side but we want to work in an 8-bit system so all we gotta do is minus that one from 256 and then we get a zero zero one zero one zero 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 then we convert that back into base 10 system or the denary system or the decimal system anywhere you want to call it and then we find out that it worked now thanks for watching my video on subtracting binary numbers I hope you learned something and see you guys next time